Hey everyone, it's Allison here with Shark Fin Shears. Today I wanted to go over how to properly disinfect and lubricate your shears so you can get the maximum performance out of your blades. So we all know that we need to sanitize and disinfect our shears after every single client. Did you also know that you need to lubricate your shears after every single use? So the first step in disinfecting my shears is taking a disinfectant spray. You never want to fully submerge your shear into any solution. So what I'm gonna do is take that spray and I'm gonna spray down my blades. What I am now going to do is take, you can use a paper towel, a cloth, anything like that, and just wipe down any of that excess disinfectant spray. So I am now wiping away any of the hair, any of the buildup, any of the product that is accumulated on the blades. We have a squeaky clean shear, but now I've also wiped off any lubrication that I had. So my next step is I'm going to take my Shark Fin lubrication pen. I love this oil pen. My reason for that is it's resealable and it's reusable. So you never have to worry about having a tip where you have to cut it off, worry about spilling oil somewhere and cleaning up a mess. With this cap, I simply take off the rubber stopper and it gives me my precision point. With this precision tip, I can take the littlest bit of oil and place it directly on my paper towel, napkin, towel, t-shirt. You can use anything like that. Make sure when you are putting your oil on your towel that you are putting it directly on what you are wiping your shear down with. You never want to put oil directly on the shear. So when we talk about lubrication, we use the term pinch and pull. I'm going to explain what that means and let you know how it can save your hand. So you're gonna open your shear with your tension knob facing you. You are going to take your towel that has the oil and you are going to pinch the bottom blade. Holding my paper towel still, I pull the shear out. I am now going to flip it over with the tension blade facing away and same thing, I am pinching the shear with the paper towel and pulling the shear out. So this is the pinch, this is the pull. My reason for doing that is when I pull, I'm sliding that shear straight along my fingers. I am never going to cut myself. If I were to take my fingers and rather than pinch and pull, let's say I just pulled along the length of the shear, there is a high chance of my wrist or my fingers rolling. When we roll, there's a higher probability of my finger running along the inside of the blade and I think we can all use our imagination and know what comes after that. Another thing I wanna talk about is the weekly maintenance of your shears to maximize their performance. So once a week, what you're going to do is loosen your shears. So remember at your tension knob, righty, tighty, lefty, loosey, you hear how loose these are? So there is space between the blades. You know that even though you are doing your disinfection and your lubrication after every single client, there's still hair, there's still product, there's buildup. That works its way. Every time you open and close your shears, it's working its way into the pivot area. So what I'm going to do is take my disinfecting spray and I am going to spray in the pivot area. I'm going to wipe any excess disinfecting spray off that I have and I'm going to take, once again, my Shark Fin lubrication pen. I'm going to take a drop of oil at the top, a drop of oil on the back side, and I'm going to work that oil through. Just moving those two blades back and forth is really gonna push out any sort of buildup that has worked its way in there over the last week. So then once I've done that, I can see any little bit that's coming out. I am then going to take um, a paper towel and what I can actually do is if you get a really fine paper towel, you can actually fold it in half. Your blades are still loose right now. We have not put proper tension back on there, but I'm going to slide underneath and in between those blades in the pivot area. Between the oil and the paper towel, that's going to push out any of that excess stuff that we need to get out so we can have a squeaky clean shear. If you are someone that's using a swivel shear, which we hope you all are, because you know the benefits of a swivel as well as I do, you want to make sure any moving component is oiled. So if you start to feel like your swivel when you're cutting, you go to swivel and it feels as though it's maybe catching, it's a little sticky, it's just not that smooth shark fin swivel that you're used to, what you're gonna do is take your oil pen, simply just place a dot right here, just literally that little drop with your precision point, rotate a few times, just get that oil, same thing how we did before, how doing this moves that oil around, doing this is gonna move that oil around, and if you see any extra oil, just simply wipe it off and you're good to go. I hope this video has made sense, that it's helped you in the maintenance of your shears, and remember, it's nice to be nice.